Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to talk about solutions today. I first heard about smart meters in about 1998 when Enron was out promoting them. And it came out in their internal documents. They were going to tax you more. They were going to be able to control the thermostat in your house. And they were working with other industries worldwide to have uh, chips and microphones and, and cameras in your dishwashers, your computers, to track everything you're doing, steal the data, and then sell the data. Well, now you know about Google cars driving around and admittedly stealing your passwords, jacking all your info, and they don't get in trouble. And they've got Google barges off the coast doing it. And then it turns out Google's involved with the NSA, and you've got Homeland Security giving tens of billions a year to put in gunshot detectors, which they've now come out in mainstream news and admitted, you know what, their microphones were listening to you with voice print. So it's a total surveillance system, not to stop terrorism, but to track the American people. And just like it came out in the news today that the NSA was, and the, and the British intelligence agencies were spying on citizens in Europe, England, and, and, and other places that were trying to get their money back when big banks had stolen it to persecute the citizens. See, it's intel for the big corporations to basically screw everybody. So they put this on your house. It has health effects that have come out on record. It's dialing into everything, stealing data. I mean, that's what these do. And Enron came up with this. So Dr. Laura Presley has been a great uh, activist. She's a, 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 a chemistry graduate, PhD. And she's been for many years, I've known her, fighting the, the toxic fluoridation in the water, which is now Harvard admits is deadly and giving you cancer. And she's helped head up with others. We're going to give folks the group, which is a great example for a group in your area uh, so that you can get an opt-out. And they say, you know, pay $10 a month more or whatever. The point is the smart meters in every city it's come out, your bill goes up, folks. So they absolutely use these to play all sorts of shenanigans. Look at your power prices going up. And so she joins us now to talk about the success in Austin, what the smart meters do. And then this is a model, first city in Texas to have this opt-out. Uh, I mean, we've seen Chicago where people refuse to have them. The police come and arrest them. In upscale neighborhoods, no, you're not coming on my property. You need a warrant. Cops arrest you. I mean, we've shown those videos. We've had those mothers on here. It's mainly women fighting these. And people, they're doing studies now where people wake up when they activate. It, it, it's, it's been found, it's like, it sends the wavelength through your brain and is waking you up. Because your brain, like, sees it like a bright light, basically. I mean, these things are so bad, folks. We turned the wireless off at my house two years ago. Much better sleep, everything. It is definitely the cell phones, brain cancer, you name it, the electronic fog. There's so many issues here. Health, surveillance. So, Dr. Presley, thank you so much for coming on with us. Good to see you again. Well, Alex, thank you for talking about this really, really important subject. You know, these smart meters are digital computers that emit radio frequency and microwave radiation on our homes. And they communicate through our homes to these huge concentrators that are on the electric power lines. So not only are they emitting... Um, you know, outside of our houses, the electric usage that we are using in our homes, but they're going through our homes to communicate to these these wireless networks on um, these electric utility systems. So I want to break down just a little bit the radio frequency energies that these things use. Think about um, a radio station, let's say 99.7 FM, that's a common station here in Austin, Texas, and that's 99.7 megahertz. Okay, these emit 900 to 2500 megahertz, 10 to 20 times higher in radiation and energy than what these radio waves that we've been exposed to. What and by the way, any engineer will tell you, don't get near the transmitter. Don't get... The military used yes. to heat up their food by transmitters. Absolutely. In, in cold Absolutely. weather, they would put them by the transmitter. Yes, and, and I want to just kind of, we have a, a meter that measures radiation levels, and I want to give you some baseline numbers and, and kind of give people a reference point of what how, how intense these things are. If you're in Wimberley, Texas, which is out in the hill country, the baseline radiation of these wavelengths is about 0.1 microwatts per meter squared, 0.1, all right? Austin, Texas, and large metropolitan areas are about a baseline of 4 microwatts, so that's 40 times higher than you know, the hill country where you can still get a cell signal, okay? You can still get a cell signal out in Wimberley and in Austin is 40 times higher. These smart meters put out 75,000 microwatts, okay? That's how huge the power densities are of these meters and they pulse. This is the other piece of this. It's not just a continuous emission. They pulse every 25 seconds and 
why are we needing to have our information, our electric utility usage being emitted and sent? Well, I mean, remember, ten, 10 years, five seconds, ten years ago was we're going to control your meter. Then we got mad. Okay, uh, yeah, you know, we're going to control how 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 hot your temperature is or how cold. I mean, this is all admitted. They're spying on you every twenty five seconds, grabbing all the data as the CIA director. Remember when he said last year, we're going to use your washing machine to track everything you do. Right. And, you know, what started me on this path, my husband and I were um, having a lot of issues because of our smart meter. In hindsight, it took us about a year to figure this out. So we would be in, um, we would be laying there trying to go to sleep at night. And I would notice we would, our legs would twitch, just kind of kick and twitch. And we were both engineers. And so we would count the seconds between the twitching. It was 25 seconds. This is before you even knew before the smart we even meter. Knew about this, before we even knew about the smart meter. Oh, well, you've seen the studies with like the aphids and stuff. Yeah, we do. Yes, twitching when it fires. You got it exactly. And we were doing that in our bedrooms, and we would kind of joke with each other. But it got so bad that my um, I could feel my face kind of vibrate every twenty five seconds. So it kept getting worse and worse. And we we looked around our home and said, "What is what what is periodically coming on? This is an electrical stimulation. There was no question about that. That's not a biological time frame. 25 seconds is not a biological time frame of any kind of process that I'm aware of. So we looked and we found a meter to measure these pulses. And we went out and measured our smart meter. Every 25 seconds, our meter was pulsing. We had Austin Energy come out, engineers come out to our house. And we said, um, let's turn the meter, the pulsing emissions off. And they did that. And the twitching stopped. Root cause analysis. But they've now got films and studies out where it shows the bugs actually yes. freak out when it's happening. Yes, I've seen that. I've seen video of that. So we were twitching. And so, you know, when they turned the radio emitter off, the twitching stopped. That's when we went to Austin Energy and talked to the general manager, Larry Weiss of Austin Energy. Austin Energy is a municipally owned utility company. So the taxpayers own it. And so we went to them and said, you need to have an opt out program. More people are having issues, not just us. We showed him the radio frequency um, power emissions. We showed him the twitching information. And yes, I have to give them credit. They decided to be the first in Texas to do an opt-out program. And you know, because I've read about this in other cities they've tried, the feds and multinationals come after folks. We need to really stand behind people that just did the bare minimum of decency. Right. Now they say, you got to pay 10 bucks to have us have somebody come read it. That's fine. We'll do that a month. But it doesn't matter. Now you're not being fried. And as you said, we're already bathed in all the wireless and all the rest of it. In Austin, you go outside town, it's way lower. It's way lower. And, you know, with with all these, these wireless uh, devices we have, our phones, our laptops, our, you know, uh, routers in our home. Routers are, like, I'm, I'm just really proud of you to say... You know, and, and what a role model you are to turn your router off at night, turn all your wireless devices off at night. You know, we're complaining about the smart meters, but we have some power ourselves and we should turn all these devices off for our families, for our health. And that, that is one thing, you know, that, that we really recommend. Now, there are two different mechanisms that these smart meters are causing health problems. One is the radiation. OK, and we said it's high frequency, high energy, radio frequency and microwave. But there's another mechanism, and it causes dirty electricity in the circuitry of your home because you have electrons flowing electricity in your home to get your power to all of your, um, you know, our different electrical devices. When that pulse happens, that sends a huge voltage spike in the electrical system of our house, and that's and why that the also causes it. That's why the windmills are so bad because uh, th yes. that they use because they go up and down. That's why energy companies hate them. This is so bad for your equipment, your house to have it just pulsing on and off in your house. That's right. So bad for all your electronics. Everybody knows you want clean power. That's you right. want a good, clean, straight flow. Biologically, they know if it's good and clean, it, it isn't that big of a deal. Even for your body, it's the pulsing, it's the up and down, it's the uh, stay there. Dr. Laura Presley is our guest. Give out the website before we go to break real fast for folks to find out more. AustinSmartMeters.com. AustinSmartMeters.com. We'll be right back. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a cocktail of reasons that cancers are up on average over 3,000% here in the U.S. Pediatric cancer is up over 10,000%. The industrialized world leads the planet, even as toxins supposedly go down in cancers, diseases, and problems. And electricity's only been harnessed. I mean, the ancient Greeks and others had primitive batteries, uh, chemical batteries, but uh, that have been dug up. But 
In the last 150 years is the real birth of modern electricity, where they fire high-speed electrons down these wiring and then put, them in, uh, put it, it into devices. But then you start actually broadcasting all this in microwave radiation and all of it. It only intensifies the health issues, then the surveillance issues, and then how it dials into all the devices and sends that data back. And now they're, oh, the new smart meters will be your wireless Internet. It is an outside group setting the precedent to invade your household. And the answer here is for consumers, just like with organic food and other issues, to demand demand that we have a choice and demand that these systems not blurp every 25 seconds and send back data, not run uh, bad power through our house, not surveil us, not control the temperature uh, of our thermostats. Now, Dr. Laura Presley's here, and she uh, works with local Austin groups uh, to fight against this successfully. And the, and the scary news is you're, you've gotten an opt-out for $10 a month which is a lot more reasonable, still be a huge profit for the meter readers, and it'll keep them in a job. But you're saying the Texas Utility Commission's talking about 100 bucks a month. That is literally raping and abusing people for the right to opt out of these surveillance uh, devices. That's right. The Public Utility Commission here in Texas has taken this issue up of opt-out, and they've been working on it for several years. And, you know, they're proposing to replace your meter. Austin's going to use $75 fee to replace the meter back to the old analog one that we had in 2009, okay? But there, the Public Utility Commission is looking at two to $400 to replace the old meter back and then a huge fee, you know, per month, $50 to $100 a month to come read your meter. And it is outrageous. They don't want people to opt out. And by the way, think, deterrent. think about this. This is how these big corporations come and give massive amounts of money to have your city make you take this. Exactly. Just like when you buy a dishwasher that has smart stuff spying on you or a computer, you're paying in the cell phone for the mandated crud to spy on you. Right. It jacks up the prices of everything. Right. And we never opted into this. If you recall, you know, this has gone on since 2009 here and here in Texas. Well, go over your list. You've got a lot more for okay. folks. So the other thing I want to talk a lot about the health effects that um, this causes. There's a new documentary out and you carry it at, at the Infowars store. It's Take Back Your Power. We are going to have a free screening of that here in Austin at Brave New Books at 1904 Guadalupe Street uh, next Saturday, November 16th at 7 p.m. And what's interesting about that documentary, it has... Um, they did a study of people who, they, they did a live blood analysis. They did a dark field uh, blood analysis of red blood cells. They pulled people's blood before they put them in front of a smart meter and the red blood cells looked normal. Then they put the people in front of a smart meter for about two minutes, about two feet away. It was shocking, Alex, what the blood results showed. The red blood cells had ruptured they were distorted and they started stacking up upon each other. And so bottom line is it affects your blood. It affects By the your pathology. Uh, I've talked to engineers. They say these things are like 100 times more powerful than a cell phone. I just reminded me, all the studies about cell phones and these brain tumors on the side of the head you use it on, that's what it said. It breaks the DNA and breaks up the cells, vibrating them. Absolutely. In fact, guys, search engine uh, on the NSA database, Google. A search engine, a cell phones break DNA. Cell phone, it'll be like BBC AP. So think of, this, think of this, think of the iron in your blood as an antenna. All right, it's a metal. So that's why the red blood cells... And there's are, iron. That's right. That's why the red blood cells Copper. are so susceptible, okay? And so what's interesting is a signature of health issues is anemia. My husband and I both had anemia, okay? After we figured out kind of what's going on with this smart meter... And women, women typically can get anemia because of how our cycles are, but men to have anemia is a really huge anomaly. And so this is what's happening. The red blood cells are being damaged and you can't, you can't replenish them. And so you're, you're low in iron. Isn't this just like fluoride though? They knew when they put it in, they knew the Soviets and the Nazis used it to control people and Pulitzer Prize winning books, Nuremberg trials documented it. They put that in our water. And now they're doing this to us. This is population reduction. Well, back in, in the 70s, there were studies done by the military. Sam Milham, um, Dr. Sam Milham, who's the author of Dirty Electricity, he, had, he recorded back in the 1970s that the military understood that pulsed microwave energy, which is what these smart meters are, are putting out, 
does cause a lot of immune response issues, causes cancer, and that was that's documented in his book for the last, you know, last 40 to 50 years we've been aware of this. So I want people to understand that these smart meters, this is why you, you feel tired. Oh, look, 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 hold on, I think we found it. What, what publication is that? Scroll down. Daily Mail, mobile phone radiation damages DNA. You got it. In new major study, and there's literally hundreds of these, Radio waves from mobile phones do harm cells and damage DNA. European research has revealed the four-year reflex study found uh, genomes, the carrier of genes, were harmed by exposure to electromagnetic fields from such technology. And if you go through it, it breaks them in half and attacked red blood cells. Oh, well, let's put something hundreds of times more powerful and wonder what it's... Well, why not just flamethrow everyone? Well, that will, yeah. No, no, then we'd notice and fight back. Yes. Well, your the microwave frequency that's being used in these smart meters Aww. is 2.5 gigahertz, which is the same frequency that your microwave oven uses to cook your food. It's just a we're the smart meters a little bit lower power. Well, why don't we just put our babies in the microwave then for so we reduce the population? Well, you know, and I'm not saying literally do that. Folks will probably do it if, if Obama said to. I mean, this is crazy. It's crazy. And so the, 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 the myriad of health issues, you know, muscle contractions that my husband and I were having, involuntary muscle contractions, inflammation, headaches, insomnia, um, concentration problems, swelling, chest pains. Think about your blood's being damaged. Your oxygen transfer's not happening. Your, um, you know, you're tired. You're having a lot of problems with, with your energy level. Your thyroid's being affected. All of it. This stuff is dangerous. People need to opt out, turn this stuff off. And, you know, and if your electric company won't replace your smart meter, there are a lot of things you can do to order your own meter, analog meters. You can get online, $16 for a meter. And you know what? Go to your electric company with a doctor, um, some information from your doctor and say, this is self-defense. I have to replace this thing. And, you know, the other, the other thing I want to talk about too, Alex, is our gas meters are also smart meters. They pulse about the same rate at every 25 seconds or so. They put out a, a power density that's about half of the electric smart meters because they use a little battery. So that's something else is what we've worked with here in Austin on the gas meters to be opted out. And on the smart, austinsmartmeters.com, we've got a number there. You can call it opt out of your gas meter also. So just the big picture, anemia, tired, low energy, low oxygen transfer, that's well documented in this this wonderful documentary, Take Back Your Power. I recommend everybody order that and get that, become educated, and, and also turn all your wireless devices off at home. You know, we complain about the smart meter, but let's take some... Well, there's also some studies... ...ability on our own and turn your, turn your router off, turn your wireless printer off, turn your phone off, turn your cordless phone off. There's so many wireless devices that we're bathed in, just like you said. We have to... Take sure, well, as a chemist, you know that most poisons become addictive because the body then changes its whole metabolic system to it. it there's another study, people just type this in, mainline studies that cell phones are addictive and heat the brain one degree, that's BBC. Heat the brain one degree are addictive. That's why folks, not just addicted to the screen, they can't talk to each other. We're all just being fried, but it's also very toxic like aspartame. We're becoming addicted to it. I mean, this is a science fiction movie. This, this is incredible. Everybody just do the test. Get rid of the smart meter, see what happens. Get the wireless out of your house, plug into the wall, run a wire over to where you're at, use Ethernet for a while, see how good you sleep, see what happens. I'm telling you, Dr. Laura Presley, give out the local Austin site again. People should get the film uh, at InfoWarsStore.com so they understand what's happening. They should go to your site and use that battle plan that you and others helped develop to at least get us the opt-out for $10. And so we can then fight harder and then, no, go back and show that these are actually less expensive and just go back and do studies to find out what it really costs to have them read by a human. Plus, it's the whole movement of phasing humans out anyways. Yes, so it's austinsmartmeters.com. There's a lot of information, health information, recommendations, solutions. The form to opt out in Austin is on the website, so you can go there print the form out, fill it in, and send it in. Also, again, Take Back Your Power is, we're, we're showing that documentary. This Saturday, Austin, Brave New Books, 1904, Guadalupe Very Street. Very excited. Now, 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 stopping right there, folks have got to get the film, have showings in their area, take action. This isn't just Austin, Texas. You can do it.
And this is a major victory against the globalist, and we're going to continue. We're on the march. The globalist, the eugenicist, the anti-human New World Order, they are in deep trouble. They are on the run. Doc, thank you so much for coming on with us. Thank you. Alex Jones here to warn you about some of the most important health information you may ever hear. I'm talking about radiation, radioactive fallout, radioactive particles contaminating the Northern Hemisphere. Conservatively, since the 1940s, the Northern Hemisphere of our planet has more than doubled its background radiation. In fact, that was before Fukushima exploded. Now the levels are going up and up and up. Fish are contaminated in the Pacific, and the FDA, the EPA, and others, they're not worried about it. They've been raising the levels of what they claim is safe radioactive particles. Well, I began to discuss with my wife protecting myself, her, and of course our children. Most importantly, I have three small children, ages 10, 9, and 5. Radiation really affects children more than adults because they have fast-growing cells. All the literature is clear on that. And I went and talked to medical doctors, scientists, nuclear physicists, nutritionists, and I said, what's the number one thing I can do to protect my family? And they said, Alex, it's leave the northern hemisphere. Go south of the equator. That's where the radiation levels are very, very low. If you look at the wind patterns, the north hardly interacts with the south. And it's unfortunate that we've done this to our planet. So after more than two years of research into how to protect my family, looking at all the literature, talking to the experts, across the board they agreed, iodine is key, but of the family of iodine, nascent, natural, non-GMO, non-factory iodine that comes from the earth is absolutely paramount for your thyroid and other functions in the body. The literature, the research, it's there. It's not my opinion. It is admitted that iodine is essential for the health of our bodies overall, and nascent iodine is the best form. Now, we're announcing the launch of InfoWarsLife.com, and we're going to bring you scores of products over the next few years that we're researching and developing. But nascent iodine is the first product we're coming out with because it's so important, and it's also listed as a fluoride detoxer. It does so many other things. Your body needs it, and when you don't have enough iodine, forget the radiation, your thyroid absorbs the sodium fluoride and other things. And it's the good iodine, the nascent iodine, that is able to block that and just do so many things uh, for your body and your health. I've been taking it. It's amazing. It's a lot better than coffee, I'm here to tell you. And that's why we are now offering our own nascent iodine that's double the strength, made in the best laboratory that is... Uh, FDA uh, certified and accredited, and it is double strength at half the price of the leading competitor. You know my rule, bring you the highest quality products at the lowest prices we can, so it's a win-win-win. I believe in you reap what you sow. So not only will you get the best deal on nascent iodine at InfoWarsLife.com for your general health and also for any type of emergencies or disasters, you will also be getting a great deal and supporting the info war and our news operation, promoting the cure for tyranny, the First Amendment, promoting liberty and a rediscovery of the Bill of Rights and Constitution and true Americana that's made this nation so great. So please join me in being among the first to visit InfoWarsLife.com. We've got discounts if you buy the nascent iodine in bulk. I challenge you to try to find a better deal. We have the best deal out there and the best quality. In closing, here is probably the most important point. You don't just take nascent iodine when disaster strikes, when there's some new giant disaster. The Northern Hemisphere is already double what it was 60 years ago with the radioactive background. I believe from the research I've done and the experts I've talked to, it is key to take nascent iodine to protect your thyroid from the radiological disaster that's already happened and unfortunately future disasters that will happen. That's why it's important to fill your thyroid up now with the healthy nascent iodine so that the sodium fluoride, the radioactive 
uh, isotopes and the rest of it can't get in. That's the key. This is something that across the board has been shown in study after study to be an absolutely essential nutrient in the body. Until a few decades ago, the government put it in the salt because they knew you needed it. But then they took that out that's good for the thyroid and put the sodium fluoride in that's bad for it. Talk about eugenics. Talk about soft kill. Talk about an invisible weapon in the water supply. This stuff is on record as a detoxifier for the fluoride they're adding to our water. Nascent iodine and InfoWars Life Survival Shield in double strength at half the cost of the leading competitors. Please visit InfoWarsLife.com today. Uh. Uh.